All right, guys, we are back uh, with my buddy WT and myself. We are doing another Soulcraft uh, podcast. Uh, the last one we had, Malachi, which is Dwarf King. He's the main guy, the CEO, the founder. We had him on our very, very, very first one. A great guy, did a giveaway. Uh, really, really, really good community. And this one here, we are by ourselves. It's myself and WT. And, uh, you know, I figure we got to get, we want to let the community know us a little bit um, because, you know, we kind of jumped into it with uh, with Dwarf King last time, the CEO. We kind of just jumped right into business. We didn't really introduce ourselves very much. Um, so WT and I, we've been doing podcasts for a few months now together. Um, you know, this is our 11th, maybe we'll say our 11th together total, but, uh, this is our second one from Soulcraft and, and, uh, we do want to make like a weekly thing, maybe a bi-weekly thing, kind of breaking down the game and we're going to, you know, um, go over everything, what's new, what's exciting. So you're going to be seeing a lot of us for sure. So make sure you follow the channel and get to know us a little bit. Maybe leave a comment in the channel below. Uh, let us know about yourselves. We want to get to know the, the Soulcraft community as well, uh, because we are very, very, very involved. So WT, why don't you tell uh, the family, the crew, us? Let's tell us about yourself. Uh, yo, take it over. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, Good to be doing, back. Baby. Yes. Starting a new journey here with Soulcraft. Uh, we both been kind of eyeing this game for man, probably at least a month now, mm -hmm. and you know we started dipping our toes in a little bit, and we're both in the NFT space. Most of you probably know us from Guild of Guardians and maybe uh, a couple other things like the Sandbox and all the other popular ones out there. But we uh, we both agreed we love the concept of this game, Soulcraft. We love uh, the the genre, dwarfs, orcs, elves, all that kind of stuff. It's it's right up our alley and. Uh, uh yeah i'm excited to be getting into this community which we already have and really learning about the people in the community and just integrating ourselves and just having some fun you know absolutely and, and that's the thing is we've definitely got to meet a lot of really awesome people along the way um we know some we recognize some faces that you know came and uh, and are, are minting with us as well so it's been really 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 fun so the community has been great uh, and you know, we talk about this all the time in all our podcasts, everything we do community is everything without a community that there's nothing. And, and that's very, very, very important to us. So if we definitely get involved in something, you know, we don't just go in and, and attach ourselves to anything. It's gotta be, you know, to us, it's community and that's, that's what it's about. So I want to do a right. quick rundown of, um, of what this is. I want to be, you know, for those that have no idea what we're even talking about, this game is called Soulcraft. It's uh, Soulcraft. It's a, it's an action art RTS game. So basically you're going to get these dwarves. Uh, you mint these dwarves, which they, the mint was just, uh, what, two Two, three days ago it was uh the vip and whitelist everything two three days ago right yeah it's been a crazy uh 48 to maybe a little bit longer hours mm -hmm. of, of the mint process and uh before we dive into that i gotta i gotta throw us off a second you are now a celebrity there as you are the first ambassador for soulcraft i want to say congratulations to you thank you so much yo honestly thank you so much for that that was uh i really appreciate that it, it's honestly it's a huge honor i i again we've talked we were just saying earlier we know we we research the things before we get into it we don't just dive into anything we research we were talking and we figured it out figured we want to get involved so i really appreciate that thank you so much and again uh for the soulcraft community you know we're here for you and and, and both of us we are here for you and uh, we want to see this succeed we want to see everyone succeed we want to see the game succeed so uh i will be putting the work in and, I, and it's a huge honor to be to be named at uh the first the very first and i believe only right now the ambassador so i'm very 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 excited about that and uh i promise you guys you're gonna be seeing me around a lot uh you're gonna get sick of me how about that you're gonna see me around so much you're gonna get sick of me now nah, we're good but uh yeah. thank you very much uh, for bringing that up and thank you so much uh malachi and everybody in the in the soulcraft community um i promise you man we're, we're here for you guys we, we, we we're here for you guys and uh, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of us like i said you're gonna be seeing a lot of us so thank you very much that i've for uh completely sidetracked you there we'll get back on point uh with the, the <laughs> mint going on yes uh, we had the vip mint you were a part of it i was a part of it a lot of people were and it was absolutely nuts honestly i mean my my head's still spinning from the last couple of days it was just like boom 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 let's go you know and uh I gotta tell you what, man. They they had a little bit of diversity with the Soul Network. I'm still learning the Soul Network, and they were ready to pivot and make a quick decision and fix a, an issue that they had. So I, I like seeing that. What was your thoughts on that? Yeah, I I agree. So there's I guess there was some like uh, some issues with the with the Solana Network at the time of the mint, 
And I like how they do it. They go to they go right to votes and stuff. And and they're they they are they're not afraid to put make decisions on the spot. You know, it's like what do we do here? How's this VIP full day? No sweat. Let's go. Boom. And I like that. They're decisive. Uh, they make a decision. They go. They don't kind of like oh what do we do? Should we yes? Like they just like hey this is what we got to do. Let's do it. And they make those choices. And that's that's what a leader does. That's what a leader does. They make those choices and they, and they go. Um. So yeah. So what they did was originally there was supposed to be five thousand dwarves. They put it down to two thousand. I kind I like that because what it does is to me personally it adds value to the genesis dwarves so now there's not as many in circulation so these are you know these are these are tier one or whatever you want to call it you know uh, genesis or founder whatever you want to call it uh and there's only two thousand of those ever done that's it it's done so it adds value to that so i like that so yeah so there was a little bit of uh, of with the solana network there were some problems uh but then they went from five thousand to two thousand adds value i like that i think the mint went very very well it sold out quick uh, very fast sellout. The community, like we've talked earlier, is very strong. Uh, a lot of people believe in this clearly, and uh, and, and I tell you, man, I I that was a very very fast sellout to me. I thought that was very 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 fast. Um, right. Yeah, and and not only that, there's going to be the staking coming in soon. Uh, you can stake the, the dwarves soon, so you're going to be getting their staking going on. Uh, they put them up on uh, Magic Eden. Um, Solana, so is it called Solana Art? I don't know that one too from too familiar with that one. And Alpha Art, those are the ones where you can get um you can list your dwarves now. So there's a secondary market is up. That's the only place to get them now. You can't, you know, you can't mint them anymore. If you want them, you gotta get them on the secondary market. Uh so there is that as well. Uh they uh they cut that down from five thousand to two thousand. It definitely adds a lot of value to those mm -hmm. initial Genesis holders, and yeah. Uh, we're going to benefit from that long term, especially once this game gets going, because you're not going to be able to get them anymore. And the mint, I, I've been through several mints uh, in the past year and a half now. And in general, it went really smooth. Usually there's some like underlying hiccups that they don't see and all that. Maybe it's the Solana network. Maybe they're just that good. I'm not really sure because I'm still I'm a rookie at the Solana network. So I'm still learning as we go. And yeah, they, they've already. Like I said, the last three days, my head is spinning. I mean, they just boom, boom, boom. Now they're on three uh, basically exchanges for these NFTs already. And I I didn't even know there was three. Now I do. Mm -hmm. There's there's three. There, there might be more. I'm not even sure. And like right. I'm trying to figure out how to use the filters and, and go through this process. So there's a lot to absorb. And we're going to get more and more integrated with this and have a little bit more knowledge and get some more expertise. But we're, we're, we're right. If you're new to this. So are we. So we're going to go through the bumps and bruises with you. And I, I just, I can't get over how fast they're doing things. It just, I'm not used to this pace. I, all these other products I've been in, it's like, they're super slow and everything is mm -hmm. months to possibly a year out. And these guys are like, bam, bam, bam. And it, it's just absolutely nuts. And you, you talked about the staking coming and it's just like, whoo, I'm, yeah. I'm all over. I'm all over. I agree that the pace of this project is it's, it blows my mind. Like we've been in other projects as well and things are a lot of like hurry up and wait. You know what I mean? There's something happens mm -hmm. and you're waiting, you know, three, four a month, uh, weeks, a month, two months. This one here, it's like, okay, minting, boom, next. Okay. Staking's coming up next. Boom. This is next. And it's just like, everything is just pumping out. And, uh, I don't know if they don't sleep. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they have like a really good team. I don't know what it is, man, but, but things are moving. Like things are moving, man. And it's, it's hard to keep up, you know, things are moving, but yeah, it's uh i i think it's it's great and like we've seen the gameplay we've seen footage before of the gameplay mm -hmm. um so i don't know if that's it maybe because they have the game kind of already ready and then the mint came in usually things are usually backwards where it's like you mint first then they get the money then they start kind of working their way through so i think uh, i think um they're on the right track for sure and yeah like was, oh another thing i didn't bring up was with the, about the minting so there's only three so there's only uh, uh two thousand dwarves um if you minted three Okay, for every three you minted, you got whitelisted for a land, for a plot of land. But land right. is going to be very, very, very important. Very important. Um, because that's where you're going to mine your solonite. So if you own land, people can mine on your land. Uh, you get a, a portion of it, I believe, right? And they you can set up like uh, percentages. They get whatever, you get whatever, whatever it is. Land is going to be important. So there is people yeah, out there. Yeah, and there's people agree, out there that got like uh, 30, 30 dwarves. They're gonna get, you know, they can get essentially if they really wanted ten plots of land, uh, which right. is which is great, you know. So yeah, talk to me about it. Uh, yeah, it's 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 got to be, in my opinion, probably the the biggest sought after commodity in this game so far, besides getting a mythic or may, maybe a legendary uh, dwarf. Uh, those are probably the next two things closest to land. I'm not sure which is more valuable, a mythic dwarf or a basic piece of right. land there is going to be different rarities to land so 
you know, a mythic piece of land will trump a mythic dwarf uh, because that's where it's at. That's where you get the solonite, and depending on which rarity you get, that's the amount of allocation per day or per hour. I'm not sure how that mechanic is going to work, but the better the quality of land, the more solonite you'll have access to and more earnings you can do. So, yeah, land's pretty important. Absolutely. I think that's going to be a very, very big sought after thing. And like we were saying, three dwarfs, you're whitelisted for one plot of land. And some of these guys are smart, man. They went out and they got, you know, 30 dwarves. And that's that's 10 plots of land if they, if they want to go that way. Um, another thing I want to talk about. They, the, uh, real quick, right? uh, they made a change uh, that mm -hmm. late last night or early this morning. It was you had to have three per wallet and they changed it to you can have all your dwarves in one wallet. So I love that change. That is a, yeah. an improvement of quality of life. So I don't have to go out and make multiple wallets to get multiple lands. So I was very happy to see that announcement. Right. That was key for sure. Because it just is, yeah, exactly. Quality of life. Absolutely. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, uh, Battle Pigs will be airdropped. So the Battle Pigs are uh, NFTs as well, I believe. So you can breed these and you can, you know, I think they're talking about doing races with them or something. There's different things you can do with them. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Battle Pigs. So if you have your dwarf, you're going to see he's carrying, every dwarf carries a Battle Pig. And um, there's rarer ones. There's like gold ones. And actually, actually, I want to bring this up. Whoever minted the gold uh, battle pig got a free plot of land, which was, that's cool too. You know what I mean? That was really cool. Uh, that one got minted fairly early, but, uh, you know, it's still good, right? And uh, yeah, so we're going to be able to breed them. So there's different mutations and, and all this stuff. And then, you know, people are already trying to, you know, pair up. Yo, come uh, come breed with mine. You know what I mean? I, I apparently, <laughs> apparently I have this pink one that people just want to want to smash. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're going to make a, we're going to make a work, man. We're going to just keep her busy. We're going to keep her busy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, we have, uh, we have, uh, one battle pig. I have a pink battle pig that apparently is a, is a hot commodity. Uh, but yeah, yeah. so you're gonna be able to breed them and do stuff with them. And, uh, which is really, really, really cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. And, um, did you get any, uh, mutation ones? No, I don't think so. Uh, I did have one with some Chrome Tusk, which I thought was really cool. I'm very, I, I'm very confused at the ranking system of these dwarves mm -hmm. and the pigs. Like the ones that I thought were going to be really good, they're all common, and I, I don't understand it. But I like the way they look. I like my pigs. I, right. I'm pretty happy with the selection of dwarves I got. Uh, and in, in talking about the pigs here, uh, Minnes Minnesota Boy Sol. He or she got a golden pig, a golden pig holder status already verified on it. I was on uh, Discord this morning, and it stands out a bright yellow. You can't miss it, and if you click on it, it says golden pig holder. So nice. that's one of the lucky people that got it, and they're they're changing people's tags kind of to what you got. They got like a verification process and right. stuff going on. I Pretty cool stuff. And like I said before. Super fast. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know what? Let's give a couple shout outs out there. Minnesota boy, I want to give you a shout out. You actually, I believe that's who won the, the it was like a rap battle or something, a freestyle battle in the Twitter space. Is that who oh, it was? Really? I believe oh, okay. that's who it was. And I believe he won a plot of land, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, so big shout out to that. Let's give some shout out because you know what, man? Like I said, I want to get to know the community. So big shout out. Uh, I know we got some GOG players up in here. Big shout out to you guys as well uh, that came in with us. Uh, but yeah, Minnesota boy won the, we did a Twitter space. I mean, say we, but you know, uh, Soulcraft did a Twitter space and there was a rap battle. You had a, a very nice little uh, rhyme in there. It's some violets, roses are red, violets are blue. You did all right. You know, that was, you know, it was all right. It was mediocre. It was on the fly. I was like, yeah, I got to do something. I got to do something. <laughs> it was, you know, it was fine. You know, it wasn't land worthy. No, it was <laughs> no, fine, dude. I'm just no, joking. No, it was, it, you know what? In my heart, you're the winner, man. In my heart, you're the winner, man. Uh, right. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Minnesota boy, congrats on that, dude. And I guess you got a, a gold uh, a gold uh, pig as well, which is pretty sick. So, yeah, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, pre okay. Another thing they mentioned, I think they mentioned this late last night in my time, uh, pre-alpha demo in two to three weeks for holders. Uh, again, moving fast. Move, we've yeah. been involved in, in games for, you know, six, eight months. And mm -hmm. we're still waiting for... Um, uh, get, you know, alpha or whatever. Alpha, yep. This one here, Mint was 48 hours ago. This thing, oh, two, three weeks, man, you're going to be uh, playing the game. Now, I don't think there's going to be blockchain uh, integration in it, but who cares? We're going to be yeah, playing the game. So either. Yeah, you get to figure it out, play it, check it out, all that stuff. Uh, about the gameplay, I want to go back a little bit. I don't want to jump too far out, but it's uh, about the gameplay. So we were talking about how uh, you have the dwarves and you mine and stuff. Uh, so it's going to start off with PvE. It's eventually, it's going to be PvP, but it starts off with PvE. 
uh, randomly your land's gonna get attacked by uh, by orcs. Uh, so you have to kind of like defend it, which I like. I like that concept. So you can't just like mine it and forget about it because you know there's these orcs are coming in and they're gonna be you know trying to mess you up a little bit and kind of you know ruin your day. So you gotta kind of fend them off. There's gonna be like spells and stuff. Apparently there's gonna be like a, a skill tree. Apparently maybe. Um, dude, I'm I'm just I love the concept. I can't get over. I can't say this enough. I say it all the time. I love this concept. Um, the, the concept is there. Like the, this is literally the concept is there to be something great. Uh, I like that. And then, uh, so not only that, are you going to be defending the orcs? There's going to be PVP. There's gonna be like co-op later and stuff. And, uh, speaking of orcs, the next mint, I believe is the next mint or one of these mints, you're going to be able to mint orcs. So we start off, we start off with dwarves. Uh, eventually there's going to be orcs, elves. Like, I'm excited, man. I, I think that's great. Right. I think it's going to be crazy, man. Like, you, you know, you're going to have dwarves. Like, I, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, okay? So when I hear mm -hmm. dwarves and elves and orcs and stuff, I, I love that. And, uh, and and I like that stuff. So, yeah, what are your thoughts? So wh what do you think they're going to have to do different in, let's say, the uh, the orc mint? And it, do you think they're going to have to keep 2,000? Can they make more or less? How, how are they going to have to do this for the orc mint? What are they going to have to do different? Well, if this anything. is all pure speculation on my part. I don't know for sure, but um, in one AMA, they did discuss briefly possibly throwing it up for a vote, and we know how they love to throw stuff up for votes, right. so I could totally see it happening where right. uh, they're going to let the community decide elves or orcs first. I think they'll go with orcs first. It makes sense, and uh, I think it's going to work a lot like if anybody's familiar with this game called uh, the Wolf Game or something like that, and in this game, you had sheep and wolves. And the sheep were the generators of the token. And if you had a wolf, you could steal the sheep and get assets. It was kind of a cool, very cool concept. I don't know what happened with the, the game. It might have had some issues and stuff like that. But I think the orcs, you're going to be able to mint the orcs. And you can steal from the dwarves. And whatever you steal, that's stolen uh, Solonite. Instead of having to uh, mine it, you can instantly take it from them. And I think it's going to create that very cool dynamic of where it takes it out of ai's hands and puts it in the player's hands and it's a it's a, it's like a weird pvp aspect and you're gonna have to try and counter it with uh you know your battle pigs and i don't know how many you can set up but i know you can set up at least one dwarf and there might be some other npcs that you can hire to help you defend your miners and there's a Very whole cool. lot of unknowns and a possible dynamic so I think that's where they're going to go with the orcs as like a, a stealing mechanic from people. And I don't know what they're going to do with elves. That's that's the one kind of question I have is like, what are, where do they go with elves? What are they going to do? So that, that, that's my speculation on it. That's a really neat. I I never even thought of it like that. That's actually really, really, really neat. So you're, th yeah. And again, this is speculation. We don't know, you know, but it's like, yeah, that's cool that the orcs would come in, kind of take the dwarves of defense. Because it actually, now it brings a lot of more gameplay into it. That's actually really, really, really mm -hmm. neat. I know they mentioned something about air dropping. I don't know if, the, I don't know if we misunderstood it, but they were talking about air dropping, maybe elves or something or orcs or something. I don't know, maybe down the road or something. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we misunderstood that, but, uh, that'd be cool, man. Anyway, with, with elves, orcs, dwarves, I mean that right there, just the game speaks for itself. How, how, um, how amazing the potential is just with that alone. And the, like I said, the mining, the land and all that stuff, uh, going to be incredible. Okay. So the only airdrop, uh, real quick, the only airdrop that I'm aware of is the battle pigs. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it goes to, they'll be minting again. I thought I heard them say this was a while ago, right? maybe something about elves but it was to be determined they weren't for sure yet so i think that is still up in the air yeah things could change right exactly so yeah, i mean we exactly uh okay so that was uh that was stage three for q2 uh 2022 stage four uh q3 sorry that was q2 q3 for 2022 uh beta release elf nft mint we kind of just went over the elves a little bit um i think the elves are gonna people are gonna love that i think people are gonna love the mm -hmm. elves people are gonna love the orcs uh again it adds different factions um but here's the thing how are they gonna so the dwarves i think because they are the this is, this is the genesis this is the main one so i i like I'm, I'm assuming these have to be the main focus or the dwarves and kind of the other ones are kind of uh built around it but i'm super excited man i mean i gotta have i'm gonna have to have a ton of orcs i'm gonna have to have a ton of elves i'm gonna be very very active so um i believe you can have up to 10 dwarves out there mining at once uh right. kind of thing you can rent them out i, I believe land same thing like you not rent it out uh -huh. but you can have people mining on your thing there's so many different ways to earn in this um solonite obviously is 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 the currency um super 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 excited about that okay um now i want to talk about the community a little bit um the community has been really really good very very active 
Uh, very, very good, very positive. Uh, people are there to help you. Um, uh, they do a community vote. They do like a community vote. I guess they want to do like um, like community activities and stuff. So they came down to a vote. I think it came down to like a poker one this time. So that's really cool. So they want to get together and kind of get to know each other on a on a different level. You're not just a name in a Discord or a name in a in a whatever, you know? So they're getting to know each other uh, on a personal note, right? Playing poker, you're chatting or whatever. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. So the first one I believe is going to be poker. And then uh, who knows what the next ones are. But it always comes down to a vote. And that's pretty neat. You know us, man. Yeah, We're all about community. Uh... Their community is very, very active right now, mm -hmm. and uh, you and I have been into uh, several other discords, and we we know about the the peaks and the lows of community engagement. And right now, it's firing on all cylinders. There's someone in there all the time. Especially the one thing I notice is their devs or admins or whoever's in charge is in there quite a bit. So that's that's great to see. People love love seeing the the face of the owners in there. It, it kind of makes them feel like you know. Hey, they're engaged, they're active, they care, and it, it it helps. It really does help. And then you see all the things building off of it, like you said, the poker night. That's it's not for sure yet, but it's looking like it will be. Sorry, my earpiece keeps falling out today. But uh the 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 poker is in the lead by quite a bit right now, so that's where it looks like it's going. And yes, we've seen another discourse. Community events matter. Uh we're in the Guild of Guardians, it's no secret. They're, they're doing events in there also, and it really, it fills the gap, and it's a big deal to the community, and I like that they're doing that. Of course, because it's more than just, you know, the game or the investment, whatever you want to look at it. The community is what, it's, it's everything. It's literally everything in a game. You have you have a, a, a toxic community, that's the product you're going to have. You have a dead community, that's the project you're going to have. So if you if you have a, an active and an, and, 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 and encouraging and, and just, you know, um, welcoming a community that's what you're gonna have so it, it all comes down to it. so the fact that they do a lot of these uh events and they're very you know every every voice kind of matters kind of thing i like that i like that a lot so yeah that is a big 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 plus now uh the tokenomics are going to be revealed soon uh staking values are going to be revealed soon so how the so okay so basically how it goes uh if i'm if i get this right there's gonna, there's a difference between armor and rarity of your dwarf i believe the rarity of your dwarf you either mine more but the armor you stake more i don't know there's i i gotta i gotta learn more about that before i can speak about it but there's gonna be a difference between the your your rarity and then the type of armor you have but yeah so with the rarity of your dwarf is basically how the efficient it is on mining um stuff like that's pretty you know apparent and pretty uh pretty basic but yeah so apparently the the base the rarity of your dwarf is basically how well it's gonna mine um what do you think about that 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 oh another thing i want to say and there's different attributes that are rare like the sauron helmet that sauron helmet is very 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 rare there's only like uh 36 oh, okay. of them or something like that yeah yeah so if you have a sauron helmet that. yeah very very rare uh, i think uh, that's gonna uh, be the one everyone's going after i think and and i've seen some up man i tell you i didn't i listen i messed up man i didn't have any soul ready at all nothing okay i was streaming <laughs> i was literally live by the way for those that don't know i do stream full-time on twitch you can come by i'll put the link below come by the channel get to know us get to chat with us and stuff uh we're a good crew you'll see wt in there you see a bunch of people in there from you know from the nft community and stuff uh, it's a very, very, very good spot. So come on by and check it out. I'll put the link below. Um, but um, uh, what was I? What was I getting at? I totally got off sidetrack. Uh, wondering about the armor and stuff like that. The the yeah, the rarity is it ah. determines your your rate of mining, and I believe the armor is strictly for defending against orc attacks. I could be wrong on that. Maybe okay. it will contribute to mining as well. But I think the armor and gear is how you defend better against orc attacks, and then of course. Your battle pig helps you defend, and I believe they said that you'll be able to pick up NPCs. They talked about uh, paladins and um, I think mages and stuff to cool. to help defend. How that looks or works, I have no idea. Right. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist with the uh, rarities of dwarves and equipment that you were talking about. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I think it's neat, man. And uh, and again, like I was talking with the with the Sauron armor and stuff. Um, very, very sought after. I think it's gonna be like the Cadmus for GOG. It's very, 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 oh, um, really? very, uh, very rare. Like I said, only 36 of them period. That's mm. it. So if you have one of those, uh, so yeah, I wasn't ready. I, I, uh, I was, that's what I was saying. I was, I was streaming. So I didn't load up any soul, extra soul, nothing like that. And then some of them were going up for like 1.4 soul and oh, I wanted to man. snag them, but I was, I didn't, I wasn't ready, man. But you know, I missed, I missed three, three that I wanted to grab. I wanted to snipe. So, uh, yeah, 
It's it is what it is, man. You know it is what it's too bad. But I, I need one. I need one bad. I need one bad. I, that's what I need. Because uh, you know, like I said, I am a Lord of the Rings fan. So um, <laughs> anything you want to add, uh, WT, uh, to the podcast? Anything you want to say? Uh, I think we kind of went over everything right now that we know. Again, right. we know we did the mint. The mint I think went smooth. Um, they went from five thousand to two thousand, which I think is good because it, it puts more value on. It's not like a, a oversaturated. You know, it's 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 there's two thousand. That's it. There's no more uh, dwarfs coming out. I like that. More value, more rarity, more scarcity. Um, yeah, we kind of went over that. The staking, the land, the breeding. Right. Uh, anything else we can add or are we uh, going to close this up? We just, we wanted to get this out here. Uh, there's a lot of people in our community that we deal with that might not know about this game yet. We're trying to get the word out. And so this was a general outline for the game to get people that haven't heard about it, actually seen about it, hearing about it, the basics. So we're learning as we go. A lot of things are fast moving and we're going to continue to learn and really develop this podcast into more of a, like a, maybe like a strategy guide and a newscast for the Soulcraft community. So I appreciate everybody tuning in, checking this out. And I can't wait to do more of these for everybody. Absolutely. And that's, and like you said, that's very, very well said. And uh, we're, we're both learning the Solana network. Um, you know, I'm not super familiar with it. I am kind of familiar with it, but not like, you know, in depth. So I'm learning it too. We're both kind of learning it, but I love, 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 love the Solana. I, I'm, I, to be honest, I've said this many times. I prefer Solana. That's what I kind of look at now more than anything. Uh, and uh, we know we're learning it. So if there's anything we need to know, if there's anything we missed, please let us know in the comments below. L introduce yourselves. We want to get to know everybody. We want to get to know you guys on a, you know, on, on a personal level and get to chat and stuff. Let us know your dwarves. You know, we have uh, Twitter and Instagram and all, you know, Twitch and and all that stuff. We'll put our links below for you guys to come check us out, chat with us, DM us. Our DMs are open, and uh, we're always down to chat. So uh, eventually, we do want to get more we want to get people involved in the podcast we usually you know we'll get someone on from the community we'll put them on introduce you you know get you guys to introduce yourselves to the community let us know about you yep. kind of get everyone involved as well that way so that's something that we're going to be doing so uh absolutely guys um don't don't be afraid to reach out and uh yeah i don't know anything else you want to say Hey, man, as I always do, let's go. All right, you beauties. We're out of here. Thank you for listening. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Let's share this. Let's get the word out there, guys. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.